It is time for Peep Show. Yes. Season three, episode two, sectioning. But what's the title always in these cringe. ones? Cringe. Max Cringe. Max Cringe. That's yep. what the title of this should be. It's part of the reason I drink during these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Man, it is just so freaking cringy though at times. Yeah. But yeah. It, it, that means it's just it's just good writing. Just good writing. Yeah. 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 You know? And like there's there's some cohesiveness to all of them, but at the same time, I feel like it's one that you could come into at any point and any time, and it, it it makes sense. Yeah, that's I think that's the I think that's actually a strength. Yeah. Because you know I, I think how you develop a cult following for a show like an un, a deep underground following is have more like the same storyline like a continuous storyline, right? Yeah. And it excludes a lot of people. But when you have this open kind of hospitable storyline of just coming in, you don't need to know the past two seasons. You can still get the gist of it. That makes great. That, that's a great show. That's a great, 100%. great watching. So, yeah. yeah, totally. Ready to go in? Oh, yeah, man. Not really, but always. <laughs> I get you, man. Three, two, one. When eventually these do go up on YouTube, I'm going to be sad to take out that intro song because it, yeah. it's like the in-betweeners theme song it's yeah. so awesome i love the in-betweeners theme song it was just a banger and so is this we knew this one before peep show yeah. but you uh, know what we, we're, we're on a business here so that's true. how it goes it's true all right oh, into man. the cringe let's go let's do it this is a life a modern man might have roast beef and the culture later then take the fun day times for a shit god oh dear another horrible bit Look at me. I've got a girlfriend. A proper girlfriend reading a bestseller about child abuse. I go out and have croissant. I'm just a normal functioning member of the human race and there's no way anyone can prove otherwise. So where do you, you sure know this rich that? bitch from then? She's not a rich Mary's a very good friend of mine and Mark's from uni. Over hands! Oh, what? Oh, because it's a computer, you think it's made of spiders' webs and magic? It's just a metal box, Jez. They're indestructible. Really? You sure about that? Sure about that? Oh my god. I just cringed on yeah. a whole level of anything else because you know, I have a very high functioning laptop. Yeah. And if this broke, it would cease to exist. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, that, so, that would hurt so bad. So fuck you, super hands. Yeah. Let's Jesus. see if it works. First before Hell no, I... it doesn't. Because it looks like it's. Hey guys! How's it going? Oh, God, I can't get over how lucky I am to find you, Jez. Canadian I'm... Mary. She probably thinks I'm getting nowhere with my music, and that's why I'm doing removals. I'll tell her all the cool bands do removals. I'll say Franz Ferdinand have got their own van. New Martin Amos coming out. It just feels like everything's coming together, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Not too sad, though, what with your mum dying and everything? I know, you know. Who needs mums? <laughs> That's my motto. No, she wasn't there for me when I did my ballet exam. Not here for me now, so fuck her. <laughs> yeah, it's a good attitude, probably. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, I'm looking for a couple of hip young gunslingers to run the pub for me downstairs. Well, that's yours. You own the pub. I used to run a pub. Are you kidding? Would you be interested? What? Us run a pub? Well, I I've never really thought about it before, but now that I do... I think I'd probably like to do that more than anything else in the world. <laughs> I am very particular about the kind of establishment I run, though. It needs to make a political statement, a strong political statement. Does it? No! Are you sure? Because I really don't think it does, if it's a pub. Well, that's my position, and it's a deal-breaker. Did he learn nothing from the Bud Light scandal of this year? Definitely mix alcohol and politics. That great combination would always works guys always works here's my belief let me tell you what all right wow mm -hmm. all right looks like they're having fun but that's probably not gonna last no no it's too early oh god thank god it's ending finally still got all my fingers intact too are you okay oh yeah, that was fun I feel awful i suppose doing things you hate is just the price you pay to avoid loneliness so what next well, they all look garish and unsafe, so why don't you choose? Well, hold on. My girlfriend. Standing next to her boyfriend reading a text. It's the most natural thing in the world. I do feel very queasy. 
Oh, Mark, this is so weird. Wow. They spamming you about upgrading to 3G. No, listen, I applied for this thing. Barbara said I should, and I didn't think it would come off. So I didn't mention, but it looks like I might get a promotion. Well, that's brilliant. Which would mean me moving to Bristol. Oh, my God. Definitely. OK. Yes, Wheezy from the Walser. Of course. So I'm so sorry this has come up now. We need to talk. No, really, it's the wall, sir. I'm, I'm happy for you, really. Oh, God. Oh, why did I have to show it on there? <laughs> Everyone knows. That's, I'm, I'm surprised you kept it in, Spence. Surprised you kept it in. Kept what in? Your vomit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I have a history of throwing not at up. It's a montage of me throwing up. <laughs> to every in-betweeners episode ever. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. God almighty. Man. But I was about to say, you've only been going out with her for two episodes here. Let it go. But then again, he's been pursuing her since the beginning of the series. So maybe that was warranted. Maybe. So this is a place you're going to be running for Mary. Blimey. So this is a pub? Well, it was, and it will be again. Just imagine me in the pub all day, but no one can say anything because it's my job. So I've got to be there. I'll literally get paid to go to the pub. I guess it won't be quite like being paid just to go to the pub because you'll be doing all the pub stuff. The barrels, the tubes, the debit card authorizations. Mark, do you have to live quite so relentlessly in the real world? That's fine, but have you done your market research? Market research? If you build it, they will come. That's my market research. Your market research is Field of Dreams? A man who made a baseball pitch in his garden for ghosts. That's your role model. Mr Motivator? Listen, I I'm sure this place is going to be great. Will you bard? Because I can do that. I have the power to bar. And I won't necessarily be using it wisely or compassionately. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would... I'd do that to you, Dan. Actually, no. Of course, yeah. man. I'd still Where crash else? it. you still crash it. But I've had many it, it aliases just... on this channel. You've had... You have. So, it'll just be an unofficial rule. And one time we was talking about it in Burn Banter. Like, you, you will be banned from it, but... You still come in. Yes. But, be proudly, the joke. but proudly being banned. Yes. Everyone else doesn't get that same treatment. No. Fairly or consistently. <laughs> I love that, though. Fairly mm -hmm. or consistently. I love that. <laughs> Fuck you. Look at this place. I know. Still, we can move all this crap out and put a bar in, what, over there? No, mate. No way. Don't change nothing. It's perfect. Perfect? Two hands doesn't even look like a pub. Exactly. I've been down enough bloody city boy chain pubs with their logos in the foam and disinfectant in the lager, air freshener in the mayo. I want to run a place that makes a difference. Well, I'm sure we can sort that out somehow. Let's start by getting rid of this. That stays. That's the reason I fell in love with this place. You want a washing machine in the pub? It'll freak them out. What the fuck's a washing machine doing in a pub? Jesus, I need a drink. Boom, they'll have to have one of our organic scrumpies. Right. The thing is, Hans, as I've said before, I really just think we should serve at least one lager and nuts. People like lager and nuts. People like Coldplay and voted for the Nazis. You can't trust people, Jeremy. But maybe I should go solo. I'm starting to have serious doubts about you. He clear Super Hans clearly doesn't understand economics and doesn't yeah. understand what people really like. This is true. I, but commendable for thinking outside the box just not applicable just because yeah. you think outside the box doesn't mean you necessarily need to live outside the box that's the perfect way of putting it people are always going to want lagers they're in the usual bar snacks or if you're going to serve food the usual bar foods yep it's trusted and it's home i'm no economics professor i don't own a <laughs> pub myself i've patronized many of them and I know what works, for the most part. But Just what? make sure your pub serves beer and has some sort of snack, and you're good. You're well on pretty, your way. Pretty much. That's all you really need. And he's, Super Hans is getting those two things wrong. 100%. I can't believe Sophie's just gone. Do you think she'll stay faithful? Oh, definitely. People always do. I guess. Thanks, mate. Really nice of Mary to invite us to the flat warming. Oh, that's Mary. Gosh, she's such a laugh. Didn't you two even have a thing back in Darty? No, we, we never had a thing. But I thought 
didn't you stay over in her room the night we did all the blues? Blues Brothers, Betty Blue, Blue Velvet, the Big Blue. Well, yes, but nothing happened. Well, I thought... I definitely remember you writing that very long letter in marker pen and then having a freak out and burning it. That was you, wasn't it? So, uh, the pub? What are you calling it? No problem there. We're deadlocked on that and a few other things, but I'm definitely not co-managing a pub called Free the Pedos. Right, yes. Oh! <laughs> I can see that. Maybe I should get off with someone at Mary's party in case Sophie does in Bristol. Right, when was the last time I got off with someone at a party? Well, there was Carol Banana Face, but that was just a macabre charade. Party time for the El Dude Brothers. God, life is futile. I'm so glad you guys can make it. Right. Where, where, where is everyone? Everyone who? No one else is coming. It's just us. Just us? Look, I'm just going to call Sophie, check, see what she's up to. Now listen, Jez, just take about the pub. Oh, shit. Here it comes. The dream dies. I'm going to get rid of the pub. Right. I just thought maybe if we could manage it for a little while, then you could see it. Do you want it? What? The pub. You see, I'm going to get rid of it. It's just this big thing sitting underneath me and... You mean, like, own it? Please take it. Please. Well, sure. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> hey, fuck you, Mark. The world's not all wrong sometimes. I'm calling Superhands. What's he? Oh, Mark. I've turned into quite a hunk, haven't you? You're a hunky. <laughs> well, uh, I actually may surprise you to learn that no one's ever said that to me before. Want to put your pop school into my purse? Oh, my God, I'm being what? propositioned. I wrote you a letter. I didn't send it, but I don't know if you... Letter? Popsicle? This isn't I good. Right. Thank you. My bone's got a little machine. Does it? Really? <laughs> OK, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Maybe I should follow her. She's so hyper, she's probably what? really great at sex. But there's always the chance I'll get the toilet seat slammed on my cock for no reason. Totally. But, Hans, I, I really think all of our major differences will just drift away as long as we don't try and confront them too early. I'll see you down there. Jeremy, I think something's wrong with Mary. She made a pass at me. You've got such low self-esteem, haven't you? No, Jez, this is serious. I'm worried about her. She's not right in the head. Oh, rubbish. She's always been a bit full-on. She's kooky. Don't you think that the party, the pub... I think she's gone a bit funny. Oh, right. Now I get it. She has some faith in Jeremy, hence she must be mental. Listen, yeah. guys. Newsflash. If you need to shit, shit in the bin. Oh. Maybe she's a bit up and down. Hey, son. In Run. both of those uh, scenarios, the pub and this woman. Run. There's not enough distance to put between you and her. Holy crap, mm -hmm. dude. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a little much. Yep. I feel like I can get to that level of crazy, too. So, but, long... but I don't know, man. That's a different level. That's psychotic. You'll die. She will kill yeah. you. You won't know she's going to kill you until she's standing over you drinking your blood. Yeah. And by then, it's too late. You're nope. done. No speak. How's it going? Oh, my God. She would have got it by now unless Amazon screwed up. Except they're so damn efficient. So, I got the book you sent me, Vox. Thanks. You know what it's about, don't you, Mark? Uh, no. Phone sex. Oh, well, blimey. I... I, I wouldn't be against something like that. Maybe it'd be fun. Uh, oh, do you want to start? Uh, no, you start. I'll just d dive in, shall I? What am I going to say? Clinton would know what to say. Blair would know what to say. Even Putin would know what to say. You've got nice tits. Well, it's not for me to say, but... You have. You, you really have. And feet and arms. And, you know, I don't want to just focus on the sexual parts, because... Look, um, we might have to try going a bit dirtier. Good. So a guy's just walked in here. A big, nice guy without his pants on. He's got a big hard on and, and... He goes. Can we get rid of him? He goes and puts his pants on. It's just you and me and... And Andrew Neal's interviewing us about politics. <laughs> but when the camera's not on us, we're, we're all hot and... I'm just screwing you, and there's nothing Andrew Neal can do about it. Who's Andrew Neal? He's the ex-editor of the Sunday Times. It, it doesn't matter. Hi, Mark. It's Jeremy. I'm with Mary. She was outside. Someone's coming in. I think it's Jeremy. Oh, no, Mark, no, sorry, I'm not into that. No, Sophie's back. I've got to go. Hey, Mark. The Mark man. <laughs> what? Uh, first off, Mark's game with that is totally terrible. Well, you know what happens? He can't even human right, let alone do that part of humaning. 
You gotta get the whole humaning part right before you do any of that shit. You're throwing them curveballs. You know what? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sophie uh, thought Sophie thought she got herself a normal dude. I don't know how. Why is her bar with Mark so high? <laughs> I don't know, man. But I'm oh, I'm just glad that this was not filmed in the time where Snapchat existed. This is about as much as I can take of that. Yep. yep. I'm glad yep. they walked in. Oh right yeah. There. Oh yeah. Mary's come for her instructions about the curly whirly cuckoo. I get the message. What the hell is she doing? Look, listen, Mary, have you got any uh, phone numbers for brothers, sisters, or people? Numbers? Oh, yeah, I got some numbers. Could you give us the numbers? Mary, that's just three numbers. Oh, um, I can put some more if you like, cos... <laughs> Mary, I, I just wonder, maybe you should be heading home. Sh shall we call you a cab? Yeah, let's call you a cab. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I'm scared. This isn't usual. Mark, is this your sharpest razor? Better be sharp because I have a damn important meeting. Meeting? What? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. so she obviously yeah. is, is having a breakdown. Yeah. Obviously. So, oh, okay. Um, wow. It, it's taking me a minute. Her mother died and she just snapped. Got it. Put in her straight jacket. Nice and tucked. I, I can hardly move under here. I'm, I'm just... Tucked up so tight. That's good tucking. That's fine. What are we going to do, Mark? She's gone literally bonkers. I don't know. I think we should try and contact someone who's got more responsibility for her than us. Exactly. But no more. Do you want to say something about an uncle in Canada? Or oh, who else is there? Pedge. Don't think he's going to take her off our hands. He works in HMV. Shit. I just don't know. We could try the number. A three-digit number. It's worth a try. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. I guess we've just got to bloody take responsibility, haven't we? Hello? Nate is direct. Uh, hi. Listen, I, I want to get my friend sectioned. Y yes, but I don't know what the procedure is. How, how easy would that be to do, a sectioning? I mean, do you have to be involved at all, or could I just give you the house number and assure you that she is completely mental? If it turns out to be easy, I could get a few other troublesome Two people sectioned. Get Mark sectioned. Get his nice big room. Guess it might cause a bit of a bump in the friendship, but I'm over the coffee rings on the dining table incident. Eventually. They're putting me through somewhere. Cool. Hi, sir. Wow, I was just talking with a, a, a friend of mine over there. It's like, it pretty much covers any kind of uh, health-related thing. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's amazing that they cover this type of thing, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. Talk about volume my yeah. god yikes so uh me again I really am leaving a lot of messages for you today i know so mary's gone if i got sectioned i put up more of a fight downside might get lobotomized seriously it's fine not calling back i hope it's not because i hung up in in the middle of our you know thing but uh, really do please call me back uh all my warmest wishes mark oh, sign off not sending her a birthday card. Still nothing. Six calls, nothing back. Wasn't going to call again, but then I thought Mary being sectioned, a nugget of sad but interesting news. Right, a talking point. Hmm. You try to get me sectioned? What? No, of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. Jeremy Superhand is here. Did you try and get him sectioned? What? Me? No. Why did you try and get him sectioned? Of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. And nobody gets super hands sectioned. Well, I definitely didn't try to get you sectioned. That sounded pretty convincing. I guess it was just one of those freaky urban things, like those people who go on fire for no reason. Yeah. Listen, I've been busting the gut trying to sort the pub. I tried to get European Bob on board, but he's a jerk off. He's still stuck in the crisp age. I'm an ex-buddy mead on tap. Yeah, right, asshole. So, what do you think? Old team, back together? Well, maybe, but we need to agree on some stuff. Like, don't fly off the handle, but I'm just really not happy with the name Free the Pedos. I mean, call it something more normal, like the swan and tomato. Yeah, <laughs> or compromise, the swan and pedo. Yeah, OK, and what about lager and... Details, listen. We need to get some fucking proof of ownership, right? We need property deeds. We need to get keys cut, borrow some start-up longer for the overheads. 
So, let's go over to Mary's. Ah, the problem there. Mary's. Mary's been... Being sectioned? You're kidding! Jesus. Who's going to be next? Incredible. Probably Superhands for wanting to have Pedo in the <laughs> title of his pub man. and not wanting to sell lager. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with the man? Yeah. He's more than just being sectioned. Yeah. Well, Still no call from Soph. If she's broken up with me, maybe I suppose I could consider Mary. Would sort of see to have a girlfriend in an institution? Regulated meeting times? I might get to have a say in her medication. I'd like to be able to chemically alter my girlfriend's moods. Well, I have to say, she's looking a lot better. Right, well, we'll just grab her stuff and get her out of your hair. I'm afraid Mary needs to be kept a close eye on just now. But she's fine. She's always been the life and soul. Tabasco in your pint, frisbee in the kitchen. That's Mary. She's kooky. She's in the acute stage of a manic episode. What do you think, Mary? I just want... Everything's too much right now. Shall we? At least she isn't proposing sexual intercourse anymore. Mark? I think of this, Jeremy. Kind of important. Probably stopped fancying me now the sedatives have kicked in and she's lost the beer goggles. Normal service has been resumed. Come on, mate. Let her go. It's for the best. Look, it might take us a month or so just to see what kind of drug or cognitive therapies might help Mary with her condition. Oh, right. I see. Your little world is threatened by all the amazing Jack Nicholson's and Robin Williams's burning so bright you've got to keep them down with your chemical kosh. Yeah, come on, set her free. All she needs is a vodka and tonic and a nice little lie down. I'm um, sorry, but there's no way I can sign her out. She's not well. Your dream is just everyone on the omnibus, grey, eating grey sludge. That's your dream, isn't it? No. We'll look after her. She's just wacky, you know? She's actually fine. She's not fine. She's temporarily mad. Oh, right. You're with them now, are you, Mark? Well, tell me, is it mad to be diagnosed with a mental disorder, or is it, in fact, much more mad to get up every morning to go to your boring job so you can print out lots of meaningless documents? I'm sorry about this. It's the 60s. He thinks he's living in the 60s. How about this? You let her go, and we promise to keep her restrained. Tightly tied. Look, I appreciate how passionately you feel about your friend, but there's no way I can sign her out. I I'm sorry. Look, uh, Mary wanted me to give you these deeds. I'm not sure why or what. OK, well, fair enough, mate. I've said my piece, but you win. After all, you're the expert. OK, let's go. So, Jez, what is she giving you these? Uh, th I don't know. They're not important. Just give them to me, really. What? The deeds to the pub? Of course they're important. In fact, why do you even need them? Oh, I tell you. Yeah, um, she's giving us the place. So I just hand them over, really. She gave it to you? Well, yeah. Perfectly legal, probably, Mark. I don't see what you're worried about. But that's... Obviously, I, I mean, in her right mind. She was fine when she gave us the pub. Well, are you sure? Because I guess giving away a pub that's worth several thousands of pounds for free, that kind of suggests you haven't exactly got your best thinking cap on. Mark, we're not exploiting her. Once we turn the pub into a cash cow, we'll give her some of the cream. Right. Look, I just think in this situation, Mary needs an impartial advisor like me to help her decide what's best. God, you're loving this, aren't you? holding the deeds like Mr. Monopoly with his top hat and his iron. Do you really think if you don't give us her pub, she's going to let you screw her? <laughs> oh, God, that is low. That is really nuts. Are you saying I'm mad? Is that what you're saying? Are you going to try and get me sectioned for simply following my dream? Look, I just think the best thing is if I hand these to the authorities here and let them decide. Hi there, Doctor. Listen, I just wondered if you could take care of a deli. He's got nuts. Get off! If you need to section him, he's out of his mind. What? I'm not out of my mind. I just <laughs> need to give you some documents. He's a loony. He was running around with his cock out before saying it was on fire. He's lost it. He thinks there's a pigeon in Catalonia that's in control of his legs. I really don't. Jeremy, tell him. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. Mostly he's OK, but maybe uh, you should keep him in for observation just for a couple of days. Jeremy! Are you... Look, if there's anyone who's going nuts here, it's not me, it's you! That they could section you for trying to section me! If you try to section me, Mark, you'll have crossed the line and I will section you, so help look, me! Look, guys, you've had your fun with the sectioning. There's gonna be no more sectioning today. It's, it's like everyone's that seen in the office where everyone has their guns pointed at each other. Yep. It's like, it's a lot more chaotic. <laughs> you gotta section me, I'm gonna section you. I'm gonna section you so hard, you wish you wouldn't section me. And the doctor's like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, we have the pub now. Watch the doctor open a pub. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, I'm shocked. God, Sophie! Jesus, Mark! This is so weird. I, I'm just on my way to Oxford for a training day at the Institute of Finance. You must be, what, changing here on your way from Bristol to the Birmingham Rep Seminar? Yeah, how? God, she almost seems to believe me. So, why haven't you called? You, you haven't called for over a week. Seeing you here by chance, I, I might as well find out why you haven't called. Well, I thought you'd be busy with your new girlfriend. What? Your new girlfriend, who you're in love with, Mary. Remember, or do you fall in love with people all the time and then just forget about it? Mary? You think... Mary? Oh, she told me, Mark. I called and she answered. She was in your bed, all tucked up tight, she put it. Look, Mary's nuts, Sophie. She, she's mentally ill. She's been incarcerated. She stayed one night, then the white van came and they took her away. But don't embarrass yourself, Mark. It's fine. Soph, look at me, honestly. She's in hospital. I can give you her reference number. Oh, right, well, blimey, I, mean, I did think it was kind of... As far as you're concerned, we're still... Because for the last few days, I've been under the impression that, um... I haven't done anything, have you, so? Uh, really? She Not has. really. Well, it was complicated, uh, and then, um, happened, really. But now I think, um, it'd be all right. Uh, I've got to get my... So, I'll, I'll call you later, OK? Out of there, Thanks. man. Just get out. Nothing happened, really the three least comforting words in the English language. Some more cringe, just on other levels. That's like almost like real life cringe. Like yeah. not even comedic, that's just like, oh my God. I think someone sucks. committed like that, that's just. Like... I didn't know you could do that over there. Maybe, remember, this is old. This is a little bit older, right. this series. What? I, I didn't do anything really. That's we all know what universal. that means. That's just, that means it's over. That just means it's yeah. over. That's just take the L. And it looked like you guys weren't even having fun when you were in thriving in the W. Because even when he was with her, it still looked like he overcomplicated the whole thing. Mark is his own worst enemy. I mean, yeah. so is Jez, but Mark more so in this one. No, Jez is more of like this ignorant elephant in a in a or bull in a china shop. He yeah. just doesn't know what all the damage he's doing. Mm -hmm. But Mark is just his own worst enemy. Pretty and I feel much. like that trans that his character transfers over in real life all the time. Because you said that before. But we're watching uh, What I Lie to You. That's D David Mitchell isn't really acting in this one. He's, no, it's, he's just being himself. It's more of a biography. Pretty I mean. much. That's my reason to give it a two thumbs up. <sighs> oh, for this, this was one. great. This whole journey so far has been amazing. Can't wait for the next one. So yep. anyway, y'all, thanks for your patronage. Keep the oh, lights yeah. on. Wash your hands, scrub your tools, wipe your ass, blow your nose, and brace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. See you in the next one. Later.